Hello and welcome to our Saint Matrix YouTube channel. Today we are going to dive deeper into the differences between Scopus and Web of Science, two of the most popular citation databases for scientific literature. Both databases have their own unique features and benefits, so it's important to understand the difference before choosing which one to use for your research. Scopus is a database developed by Elsevier a leading academic publisher. It covers over 67 million records from more than 24,000 journals, as well as conference proceedings, trade publications and book series. Web of Science, on the other hand, is developed by Clarivate Weight Analytics. It covers over 100 million records from more than 19,000 journals, as well as conferences, proceedings, book and patents. One of the key differences between Scopus and Web of Science is the scope of their coverage. Scopus is known for its comprehensive coverage of international literature, particularly on the social sciences and humanities. It includes journals and publications from over 5,000 publishers in over 100 countries. This makes it a popular choice for researchers working on a field such as social sciences, economics and law. Scopus also offers a wide range of metrics and analytics, such as author and institution profiles, citation counts and age index scores. These metrics can help researchers to evaluate the impact of their own work, as well as the work of their colleagues and peers. Web of Science, on the other hand, is known for its rigorous selection criteria and quality control measures. It only indexes journals that meet certain standards for editorial content and citation impact. This makes it a popular choice for researchers in fields such as biomedical research and life sciences. Another key difference between Scopus and Web of Science is their user interface and search functionality. Scopus offers more advanced search options and filtering features, while Web of Science is known for its precise and structured indexing. Scopus allows users to search by keywords, author, affiliation, publication title, and more. It also offers features such as citation tracking, co-citation analysis and author mapping. These features can help researchers to identify key publications, authors and institutions in their field of study. Web of Science, on the other hand, is known for its citation index, which allows users to track the number of times a particular publication has been cited. It also offers a highly structured indexing system, which can help researchers to find highly relevant articles on the specific topics. Finally, Scopus and Web of Science also differ in terms of cost and accessibility. While both databases require a subscription, Scopus offers more flexible pricing options for individual researchers and smaller institutions. Web of Science, on the other hand, can be more expensive and may be more suitable for larger institutions with a greater need for high-quality peer-reviewed content. Scopus also offers a free version called Scopus Preview, which allows users to search and view abstracts of articles. This can be a great option for researchers who want to try out the database before committing to a subscription. Scopus and Web of Science, despite their similarities, are different platforms that focus on the specific indicators of scientific publications. Despite some metrics having a similar names such as quartile and percentile, their calculation is based on different indicators. Site score or CGR for Scopus and impact factor for Web of Science. Also, these databases have different systems of interconnection with other resources and bibliographic managers, which can affect the convenience of conducting research. In summary, Scopus and Web of Science are both valuable resources for scientific researchers, but they have distinct differences in terms of coverage, user interface and pricing. Ultimately, the choice between those databases depends on your specific researcher need and priorities. For you to know, 
Our company specialists are always ready to provide consultation, conduct a free audit of the material, and as a result, to provide comprehensive support for your publication and indexing in Scopus or Web of Science journals. Thanks for watching this video of Scopus vs. Web of Science. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more scientometrics insights and analysis. See you next time!